Now, you should be aware that Scott Brown is not the only one with a salacious photo spread floating around. A salacious refers to some material of some type that's highly sexual in nature. Um, the idea of salacious, it's, it seems to have two original meanings. One of the meanings means to jump. The other meaning means dirty, which seems to be a more practical uh, description. So if someone says, I saw a salacious movie, that would be almost a euphemism for saying that they saw a dirty movie or they saw a pornographic movie. It doesn't quite sound as bad. Okay, up until a few years ago, a salacious material on the internet was not so easy to find. But uh, more recently with uh, pornography basically pouring out of the uh, internet, it's very difficult to uh, safeguard children from uh, salacious material on the internet. Clinton uh, Lewinsky affair, which was quite some time ago now, was very salacious in its day. And part of the reason was because there were uh, various details, such as the, uh, the black dress that she was wearing, which uh, were very titillating and uh, which caused a sensation in the newspaper. Unfortunately, John McCain couldn't make it recently claimed that he had never identified himself as a maverick. And we all know what happens in Arizona when you don't have ID. A maverick is a person, typically a politician. It could also be a business leader who uh, engages in unorthodox strategies, which for some reason seem to work for that person. Um, Originally, it came from uh, a rancher whose name happened to be Maverick, who didn't brand his cattle. So if there were any cattle wandering around that uh, didn't have a brand on them, he would say that they were his cattle. So in his case, it happened to work out pretty well for him. But part of the reason was because he was the only rancher that was not branding his cattle. So he was able to uh, successfully use an unorthodox uh, strategy or methodology of keeping track of his cattle. In today's world, John McCain was originally considered to be a maverick. He was originally considered to be someone who was different. But nowadays, John McCain is considered to be much more mainstream and he's not considered to be a maverick anymore. Similarly, Sarah Palin, she originally made her reputation as being a maverick, being a fresh new politician, different from all the others. But then, since then, people have kind of come to realize that she's not very well qualified. And so, uh, in spite of being a maverick, people are very reluctant to uh, promote her candidacy or to believe that she's qualified for higher office. Elon Musk earned his reputation as a maverick by helping to uh, develop the company PayPal, which got him to be quite rich. Since then, he has uh, started several new companies including Tesla, which is uh, an electric car company. And also, he also developed a company called SpaceX, which uh, developed a private rocket, which has been very successful. People were highly skeptical that he was going to be successful, but he has managed to launch several loads of cargo to the International Space Station. And now he's talking about uh, sponsoring a private mission to go to Mars, of all places. 
and he says it's his lifetime goal to help colonize Mars, which sounds completely crazy to most people, but if anybody can do it, Elon Musk is probably the one. The music business is very, very competitive, so the companies are always on the lookout for the next maverick, somebody that's going to do something completely fresh and completely amazing that they can then translate into high sales and good concert performance. That's all for today. Tom Taylor is an ESL tutor. He teaches English in the United States and outside all over the world using Skype. He can be reached at his website, which is esl-fullsteamahead.com. Click on this link and check out his website and email with questions. Thank you, Tom, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.